Hello, and happy Memorial Day weekends. I wanted to report and give the parish an update on the task force recommendations as we prepare to open St. Bridget of Kildare Parish Church for public worship. As we continue preparations to reopen St. Bridget for public masses and prayer, we want to share with you the current projects that are in progress to ensure we provide a safe environment and the safest environment possible when our parishioners return to St. Bridget Church. Readiness is of primary concern with safety before we simply settle on a date. While there will always be a risk of gathering together in church as long as the coronavirus is with us, we are doing everything we can to mitigate that risk of illness and contagion for both the clergy and for our parishioners. We know that many of our parishioners will not be able to return to St. Bridget for some time due to age concerns, health restrictions, or simply anxiety and out of fear to be in large crowds as long as the virus is with us. Therefore, we continue our live stream daily and weekend masses even after we open our church for public worship. This practice of our live stream will continue on as a norm for St. Bridget now, especially for our sick and homebound parishioners and those who for whatever reason simply cannot join us. New cameras have been purchased to replace the interim set up in the church that we currently have so that our parishioners can more easily and safely move about in the church. New cables have been run in the church as well as to help support the live streaming of our masses. We are working with our HVAC contractor, Heating and Air Conditioning, to analyze and test the air circulation inside the church to assure optimal airflow. We also are exploring ways that we can update our current system of airflow. And the airflow continues to be monitored when we do reopen to make sure that there is sufficient circulation for our parish. We are working on the seating layout in the church to meet the prescribed six foot guidelines necessary for social distancing. Pews have been measured and are being roped off so that parishioners are seated in every third row to maintain a safe distance from one another. This will impact the overall number of parishioners that can be seated in the church during any one Mass. The number of seats available for each Mass will be approximately 200. Our church, as you know, seats 1,500. Masks will be available for those parishioners who do not have one or forget to bring their own. Requirements and guidelines for attending Mass are being finalized now. This includes church entry and exit procedures, safe distancing while in the church, mandatory wearing of face masks, reception of communion procedures, and others. Volunteers now are being recruited to serve as ushers, to assist with traffic flow, seating prior to, during, and after Mass. A webinar is being created to provide instruction and training for these ushers. And while most of our ushers are 60 or over in many respects, we need to recruit ushers in a lower age, simply to secure the safety 
of those who may be vulnerable. Mass is expected to follow the current live stream model that you have seen when you participate in the live stream masses. There will be no lectors, no altar servers, no sacristans or greeters will be utilized during this time. Communion for the attendees will be after the priest says the closing prayer for the Mass and provides the final blessing. This will allow more safe environment so that people who wish to receive the Eucharist may do so without interruption. An instructional video is being created for all parishioners on what to expect when they come to Mass. This will be out soon. Professional cleaning requirements are being investigated to ensure the church is properly cleaned and sanitized between the Masses. We have opted to employ a professional cleaning service to do this rather than to seek volunteers and thus increase their risk. As we continue to work on the above projects, our guiding value is readiness and safety for our parishioners and clergy. We are taking our time to address all of these details and have created specific guidelines and procedures to celebrate the Eucharist which, with as much integrity as possible and dignity when we reopen. I will be giving you updates as we near the opening of St. Bridget of Kildare Church. In the meantime, I simply ask for your continued patience and support so that the environment that we will be able to offer in the church will be the safest possible and will also allow you to commune with the Lord Jesus. God bless you on this Memorial Day weekend, and I hope soon to see you at St. Bridget.